Hello, this is Joshua for Frost Dragon Designs, and today I'd like to talk to you about my paleontology cat, Hard Enamel Pin. This pin is part of my larger Cats Doing Science project. Now let's get into the design. I'm going to start by saying that I have a kind of complicated uh, relationship with bones and things of that nature. I have a fairly strong necrophobia. I'm, I'm scared of dead things. Now, there are a couple things that uh, don't seem to trigger this. Um, boneless meat does not trigger this. Uh, fossils in museums, like um, dinosaur bones in museums, do not trigger it. Um, and illustrations, if I'm the one drawing it, do not seem to trigger it. Also, a lot of other illustrations of bones don't seem to trigger it. But actual bones uh, typically will make me, uh, well, I freak out, to be quite honest. That's That's pretty much the only way to put it. I have had panic attacks in grocery stores, I've had panic attacks in restaurants, um, you know, so I have a complicated relationship with bones. But thankfully, if I'm the one drawing them, does not seem to trigger that, so that's great. Now, as for dinosaurs and dinosaur bones and things of that nature, I like them a lot. I think they're very neat. I remember as a child being very into dinosaurs, like very into dinosaurs. I had dinosaur erasers. I had a dinosaur pencil sharpener. I had so many books about dinosaurs, a dinosaur calendar. You know, if it had a dinosaur, I was into it for a while. Then that kind of became the the go-to gift for me. I'm sure you, you remember this or you see this with kids now, or maybe you do this to kids now. Like you find that one thing that a kid is into and then like every gift is that thing, right? Uh, I'm guilty of this as well with nieces and nephews, so that's, you know, it's what it is. But I remember a point where I stopped being, like, super into dinosaurs, but people kept buying me dinosaur stuff even after I told them I'm not really into dinosaurs anymore. Um, so there was a period of time where I did not like dinosaurs because of that fact. Now, as an adult, I have my own appreciation of them. I, I love visiting uh, the Smithsonian Natural History Museum and seeing the big skeletons there. I think that's really cool. I took my kids to go see those when they were little. I don't know if they remember it, but uh, one of them thought it was very cool. The other one uh, was quite honestly scared of them. That's fine. And the third one hasn't gone to see them yet. That's okay. He's, he's little. We'll take him eventually. But I remember going to the museum as a child and seeing those big skeletons, and I did not find them scary. I found them fascinating. They're just, they're so big when you see them up close. It's just like, that's amazing that there was something that big. I don't mean not all of them are big. Some of them are little. But, you know, the fact that there were large creatures like that roaming around is just uh, awe-inspiring and terrifying at the same time. So I guess what I'm getting at with this is, like a lot of pieces of science, you know, when you're introduced to them as a child, it's just, it is awe-inspiring. It is, you know, the world around us, the history of the world around us, what's happening now, the physics of it, all of it, it really should spark your imagination. It should make you think, wow, I'm part of something so much bigger and more complex than I realized. Like, it's a similar sense of awe of the first time when I look through a microscope, only it's kind of in the opposite direction, right? It's not that there were so small things, it's that there's such big things. And that's, I think that's part of what's so great about science education is how it opens one's mind to understanding how we are part of something bigger. We are part of a, a vast and complex ecosystem and you know, I just think that science has such an ability to expand one's thoughts outside of just themselves. Although, you know, I mean, education in general has that ability, and that's I'm, I am passionate about education. Um, and I think that, that whatever we can do to get kids excited about learning is, is good. Um, we all start off excited about learning. And I think what ends up happening is it's not that we, we fall out of love with learning. It's that we... You know, it either ends up going too fast for us or too slow for us. Uh, and we start not liking learning because we're not liking being left behind or we're not liking uh, that we're already ahead. And it's like review constantly of things that you feel like you already have when you're seeking new information. 
And, you know, that's that's why I get so excited when I see you know, kids at the library or parents working on, you know, personal research projects with their kids, because I think that, you know, that at home education space that isn't necessarily part of school, it isn't necessarily part of a class. It's just, you know, the kids interested in something and we're learning about it. That's I love that. I think that's absolutely amazing. And that's kind of where I'm hoping that these pin designs go. I want these to inspire thoughts. I want them to inspire questions. If nothing else, I, I hope that these make certain disciplines feel a little more accessible uh, because of the cute cat next to them, you know? And, and I think that if we all went out of our way to learn something new each week, I think we would all be better off for it. I know we don't always have time, but... I love that idea. Anyway, I feel like I've been rambling on through this entire video and haven't talked about the design at all, but um, anyway, this was just what was on my mind when I was watching this recording of me designing this pin. So the design itself had some interesting challenges. Uh, at first, I was kind of going with something just kind of a little cartoony, and it was really just out of my memory and imagination. Then I decided I was going to look at some reference pictures of actual skeletons, and I kind of brought it back a little closer to what a real skeleton's anatomy would be like. It's not perfect, but it's closer than it started. Um, and then, I, you know, I had some concerns. I still have some concerns about the production of this pin. There's a lot of small cutouts on it and just a lot of small details. But in the end, I think this pin will turn out really well. And I really hope that it inspires conversations. I hope people go, hey, you know, what what's going on? With, is that a dinosaur skeleton uh, What was uh, what, next to a cat with a lab coat? And then you get to have a conversation with somebody, either about your love of cats or your love of paleontology or your love of pins or just whatever, you know, like, let's talk to each other. By the way, super easy for me to say that as, a, you know, introvert sitting in my basement recording this video right now. Anyway, if you enjoyed hearing my rant, if you enjoyed seeing this pin come together, uh, please go ahead, like, and subscribe. I have new videos out every week. Thank you so much for sharing some of your time with me, and I hope I see you in the next one.